give a round of applause to the cast and crew of Penelope. It's morning. The sun is rising again. Daybreak. What if?
Imagine you're a young girl and nothing more. A newborn babe and husband's all you got. And then your husband walks right out the front door. I need a shot.
all the while, I'm living my life. I pray, and I weave, and I raise my kid, and I run this city, and I do it all from this house. This house is on a cliff. It's not all the way at the edge of the cliff, but it probably will be in a couple of decades. I can look out my window and see the ocean. It's a beautiful view. And next to the window is my big loom. It was my mother's loom. It's been in the family for generations. And when I was a little kid, I used to crawl under it and curl up and pretend I was a little cat. I'd get the hanging threads all tangled and my mother would be so mad. Next to the loom, I have a little table with snacks because I like to eat while I work. And there's this little framed picture, this like candid from my wedding day. We're like, <laughs> this pose. <laughs> We're having fun! Yeah! Oh, I never thought I'd have so much fun with my husband, you know? Our marriage wasn't so much our choice as it was our duty. But then we realized we actually like each other. We love each other. Uh, then on the other side of the room is a mirror. It was a gift from my husband's family. It's big and round, it has domed glass, which they were very excited about. It's domed glass, it's domed glass. And um, it's weird because it reflects everything in this kind of bubble. The proportions are wonky and they change depending where you stand and look at it. It's like a big glass eyeball. The distorted eye of my in-laws looking at me. Um, the only other big piece of furniture in here is the bed. The bed is sort of a thing. My husband made it out of an olive tree that grew on this spot. He didn't even cut the tree down. He just carved it into a tree. He was an anxious nightmare the whole time, but when he was finished, wow. The bed is very cozy. It has this big, fluffy comforter, and you can really stretch out in there. I always have this leg that just wanders over to the other side looking for another body. When my husband was in the bed, he would curl up on the other side and say, oh, you're taking up too much space. But I was just trying to see where he was. Sometimes I still reach out just to see. Old habit. Then there's the door to our atrium, like courtyard, in the middle of the house where, okay, my house is full of suitors, men who want to marry me. And in the atrium, these suitors have set up camp, like an actual campground. There are fire pits, there are tents. Someone tried to dig a hole into the floor. They're very loud and it's a freaking mess and I hate it. At the other end of the house is my son's room, Telemachus. But I don't go in there much anymore because he's grown. He's turning into a man. This house is on a cliff and there's a little path that weaves behind the house and up to the top. This big high point and right below is oceans just smashing, smashing, smashing. I go there every day. I go there multiple times a day. It's a good place to talk to the gods. Here on my own I can pray. That is, if you all don't mind. Looks like a few of us here tonight might not be the praying kind. Maybe you don't need the gods. Well, whether or not you do, I'll walk you through it just so what I'm doing is not First time I use my voice, 
spills on my dress and Lord, what a waste of meat. Then night follows day and still I pray. Day after day after day. Alice Athena, what else do you want me to do? I light a candle in my room The temple bells ring Are they falling out of tune? Day after day Day after day There's the guy with the forearms. This guy brings me a single flower every morning. He picks it from my garden. Oh, and the one-man army. What you gonna do with all them swords, my guy? Oh, there goes the handsy man. Drunk again. The poor servants, beset by a swarm of hornets. If hornets were drunk all the time and punched holes in my walls. If this is how they treat the house, I don't want to imagine what they do to me. I am stuck in this place with a bunch of monsters. Back when the war ended, they just showed up and wouldn't leave. Everything I tried made it worse, so... I made a bargain with them. I agreed that I would give my husband up for dead, or lost, or just not coming home. I would let go of him and marry one of them. But not until I finish my weaving. So, I'm never done. I get to make whatever I want during the day and I undo my work every night. I make landscapes, pull them apart. I make portraits, undo them. What if, what if I want to dream up the ocean? I can weave that. The face of a god He's what? Gone where? Oh!
get on the floors, they scream my name like it's the words of a song. I've dreamed of murder 50 ways or more while I'm working at my loom all day long. Say he's safe. Say he's fine. Say he's coming home with good news. Or I just Your ship comes limping in a rickety wreck. You ask me for the welcome that you've earned, and I blissfully wring your neck. Say my name! Say your truth! Say you're sailing home for good! Oh yeah? How do you like it? Very much. 
Where are you from? North? Wow. I've never been up there. And where are you headed? South. But I wanted to stop here. It's beautiful. The mountains and the sea. And we've come to the place he's asked about. There's a little step that leads up to it. And he offers me his hand. Just a little helpful gesture. Totally unnecessary. I clearly have legs I can use, but it's nice. I take his hand and step up. Do you want to come in for a drink? And for a moment, I consider it. What if, instead of going home, I do stay at that bar and have a drink with him? Or what if it's not there? What if we go out to the beach and share a bottle of something on the sand? Or what if I don't stop anywhere and just keep walking like him? Go south or north or somewhere out of town? And what if I walk into a new city that's foreign to me? And I'm a wanderer just passing through. What if I find a beautiful woman walking the streets alone at night, escaping the chaos of her house on a cliff? What if I tell her, you're interesting. With your husband gone, you run this place. In a way, you are this place. What if I ask her inside for a drink? And for a moment, she considers it. Desperate city, open your arms to me.
Is this his mouth? Or his eyes this gray? This heavy? And he's short. Or not as tall as he is in my mind. Is this the sound of his voice? That gravel wrapping itself around the way he says my name. I can see him inside that old man's suit. Is it him? This weight in the air that surrounds him. He brought the morning with him. That's a fun trick. Is it him? Really? Is this us? No. Take my hand.
I've been 